is um, from Marek. Hey Marek, could you please explain in your YouTube channel live stream how to mill a V pocket in case that my V spot mill is smaller than the V milled pocket? I've tried strategies without success. Yes, let's do that Marek. Let's jump back in here. Again, if you're looking for post that's here, let's go back into Fusion. That was our fourth axis example there. Uh, but let's go ahead and do Marek's ones. He actually sent a picture too. I should share that. That's a good picture. So um, you have a V slot, like we see here, and uh, your tool is too small for that. How do you do that? And it looks like you're using the trace function. And that's actually probably pretty, pretty good starting point. So let's go in here, new file. Let's just draw something up. I'm gonna do the two point rectangle, draw something up like this. Let's put a line in, midpoint to midpoint. Let's do a V, snap that in there, that in there. I normally like to use my symmetry for that. So point, point, line. Um, and let's do a diameter between these two. Let's make it like 35 maybe, just to make it a little crazy. And let's also just make sure that we keep this at 90 degrees. Okay, let's press pull. There we go, Marek. So we have a groove and now we're going to uh, machine that. So let's go into um, manufacture. Let's do a setup. I'm gonna leave that, that's fine. Hit okay. And I saw that you used the trace uh, tool, but it's actually a pretty good uh, starting point if we had trace and let's go in and select the tool on the bottom metric um, and there's a 10 millimeter spot drill right there hit OK and uh, then if you're going to trace select this line now you see how it selected a full chain let me just do that again I'm gonna exit over here you click here see how I select the full chain I don't want the full chain if you click on it again then you get this option here and you can just select it on a s open chain and hit the little plus sign. Now it only selected that line, hit okay. And we get a trace tool path. And if we click play, we will see that it's come down and does a beautiful trace on the bottom there. You can even, and it looks like you tried this too. You could even go in here, right click edit. You can go to your passes tab and uh, you could do actual offset. So actual offset passes in here. So maybe we do uh, 15 passes at one millimeter, right? Uh, maybe a little bit more than that. But now if we went in and simulated this, let's turn the stock back on. Um, then we will kind of see how we could, you know, machine this down, right? So it's gonna go straight down. What is not the good solution because uh, this the slot is really wide. To do that, to do that, I would use the contour toolpath in the 3D environment. You say to yourself, well, wait a minute. I don't have a ball end mill. You don't need a ball end mill for this inside of Fusion. I click on this. And uh, now you will see though that I selected a spot drill. If I just hit okay to this, I get a warning that a spot drill will not work for a 3D toolpath. But, a chamfer mill want a will. Same thing. So to find that it's a chamfer mill, let's hit OK and see what we get. And now we get something that looks a lot better, right? That's kind of like what we want. Now I will see here though, though, that if I run this right now, so you could actually use the trace toolpath first to kind of get rid of the center of it, right? So if we do that, go in here and hit play. Now you can speed up down here. If I click down here, you can kind of see how the, the slot is being created. You maybe wouldn't do it just like this brutal, but you can see the slot. Now you will see that now when it does the free axis, that that's probably not exactly what we want here. Um, what I probably would do I'm pretty lazy. I would probably go in here and I would do right click and do a duplicate, 
right click, do a few duplicates of these. And then just, you know, I did four of them. I don't know how many I would need, but right click on the second to last one, go in here, turn on stock to leave, and maybe you do two millimeters. Go into the next one up here, right click edit, stock to leave, do four millimeters. And the last one up here, edit, and maybe we do six millimeters. I'm just making this up here. Let's see how it looks now. So now, the first one's gonna be just going down to the, and maybe you wouldn't go on down the bottom. Maybe you'll break that up to a couple too, but let's see what we get here when it comes to the end. Speed it up a little bit. So now you will see that it will kind of break it into a couple of different steps. Maybe a little bit easier to, to break down. You could actually also probably go the other way. But this, um, Merrick, this is how I would attack uh, doing that. So I hope, I hope that was kind of, kind of useful. If you like that, thumbs up. If you don't, it's okay. Thumbs down, comments and subscribe and all that. Get good stuff. All right.